Hello again, this is uh, Kevin Hannafin here in the DIT Conservatory of Music with uh, Darren Hatch. Um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about um, saxophone techniques, scale playing technique especially, um, and using the full range of the instrument. Um, th there's many benefits to this, it's not just um, sort of technical issues, but it's also from, from a tuning issue as well. Um, so, Darren, if you could just first of all play me uh, an F major scale, just normally two octaves. <laughs> has used the highest note of the saxophone, which is F or, or F sharp, but the whole bottom of the instrument then has been sort of left redundant. Um, so what I like to do when we're playing scales is use the full range all the time. So always go to the highest note and then come back down to the lowest note and turn around. And it, because of, of, of the exact range of the instrument, it's, it works out in, in fours all the time. So there's no sort of extra note left over at the end. So Darren, if you can play up to the top, come back down to the tonic, down to low B flat, which is the lowest note, and then come back up to F. Okay, so you can see this will also work then with maybe G. So you'll go up to a high F sharp. Now, usually, if you're playing a G major scale, you'd go as far as D, which would be a twelfth, and then leave the next three notes out and only return to, to G. But today, Darren, you go to high F sharp, then to low B, and then return to the tonic. And you can see that also works out rhythmically. So when we start to increase the speed of our scales, um, you know, we, we, if we, we just bring up the tempo a little bit more down, so like da 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 Okay, so you can see we're using the full range of the instrument the whole time, which is great because the, the low B flat and low B, B natural are, are hard notes to get, and if we avoid them at all costs, then they, they, they will never get better. So by, by always using them and going down, we get used to playing down there, and the same with the top. If we don't play at the top, Darren, if you just play me a C, okay, so... It, that, that's your high C, and all these notes then after that are, are, are palm, palm key notes. So now play them with a very tight embouchure, which is what happens when, when people don't play in the, in the high register, they, and, and the intonation goes quite sharp. Okay, so you can hear that that sound is very, very pinched. And so that's no diaphragm support. All that's happening is you're tightening up here and, and trying to create the pressure right, right at here. The pressure should be created down here. So by playing your scales always to the top, you improve your technique, but you also improve your intonation in the, in the higher area and in the lower area. So just to finish, Darren, maybe uh, D major, as fast as you can from there. <coughs> So, you know, as fast as you can, well, as fast as you can play them correctly, I think, is, is the main thing. And then speed them up all the time. Um, and I think 152 to crotch it should be your very best aim, you know, eventually.